and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, around the town. <laughs> Why ask me? <laughs> Why ask me? Is that hope for all of you? We are all Barbie. I am a yeah, almost 50 year old black trans woman with a Barbie. <laughs> We believe if we love ourselves and love each other, we can do anything. We've been yes. more trying times than these, and we've gone through. And black people in America have been more trying times. And yes. we got to, so look to your ancestors and your ancestors, honey, because yes. there's a lesson there. And on that note, happy birthday to me. Thank you. Yes. There's a cute little surprise over there that I think you're gonna enjoy a Barbie surprise. So you should go and check it out. going on everybody Callie Stormdahl here and we're back into the world of Barbie signature Barbie tribute as we look at the Laverne Cox actress and activist doll you're perfectly welcome to pause this to get a look into her read up wow as you guys can see this is the Laverne Cox Barbie yes there's been a lot of chatter and side talk about the doll but in this video we're gonna go over the doll's look aesthetic and theme and is this doll worth $40? Let's start now. Hey everybody, Callie Stone doll here and we are back and we have the Miss Laverne Cox Barbie out of her packaging. She comes with a stand that she is clipped on. She also comes with this Laverne Cox proof of purchase. And let's get a better look at the doll, starting with her stand. So you see it's a silver base and then it goes all the way up to the back. Now, if we look over her outfit, beautiful. And underneath, you can see she's given an old nasty silver leg. And when you go down to her boots, you can see that her heels are actually sculpted into the dress. Yes, they're actually built into the material. Yes, to say. This is also giving me Scarlet Witch Met Gala as well. And I have to say it's the corset leading down to the dramatic train, even the hand motions that we're able to do with Laverne Cox. Hmm, it's giving Laverne Cox as Scarlet Witch, yes. So good, and going up to her face sculpt, which has caused a lot of debacles. Some people have said Deborah Cox, some people have said she looks just like her, but then there's others that says it's still debatable. To me, it is what it is at this point, because we have to revel in the fact that we have the first transgendered Barbie? Hmm, very interesting. Now, there is a little history going into the transgender doll title. Is Laverne Cox truly the first? Well, check out my video where I break down the facts on what really happened historically with the transgender dolls. Don't step away because we're coming right back into the details of this doll. So although she doesn't get necklaces or any bracelets, she does get these earrings and they actually have real studs in them. So it looks like if she had to choose a necklace or bracelet, she said the earrings, honey, yes. And while we're looking at her face up, you can see that she does have brown eyes, silver eyeshadow, and it looks like a light pink lip, light blushing, and she's donning a beautiful smile. Her hair is blonde, but it does feature brown highlights, and the hair does come down. Now, the hair does have product in it. The hair goes to about where her elbows are. It does feature product, but you can kind of tell how soft it would be. Now going down to the outfits, you can see that she does have like a corset style top leading down to the beautiful, beautiful gown at the bottom. And it's just see-through mesh and you can see her leggings underneath and they're leading down to her heels. Now the interesting thing about her outfit is that it's advertised to be multiple different pieces. So what happens when we take off this first reveal? I do have to cut this string because the way it's sewn onto her, it will be no way of getting it off, pulling it up or at the bottom. Wow, so as we get into the second part of her outfit, this looks so beautiful. Look at the beautiful silver fingernails. 
Look at the way the silver is glistening underneath the burgundy-ish type of dress. Like, this is so beautiful. Look at her. She kind of looks like a princess. Like, yes. Who else could it be? It's that girl. Yes. She is a beautiful doll. Like, I'm really happy that I added her to my collection. And for $40, I mean, literally, this doll has made history, right? So I totally think it's worth it. Let's see what happens if we take off this next part of her outfit. Bam! Now it's all making sense. The silver nails, the silver earrings all lead down to the silver bodysuit. This is so beautiful. And I know Laverne Cox was so happy to have her doll. The doll actually released during her birthday week. So she was actually celebrating that. This doll is so beautiful and I think it's paved the way in so many lanes. I'm actually happy to have this doll, and I have, if I had to rate her, I would actually rate her pretty high. Not on the likeness. Maybe she doesn't look just like her, but overall fun, yes. The overall theme is very clean, it's crisp, and it's very precise. You know who it is, and you know who it's replicating. Now, if you're new to these Barbie signature dolls, let's go into her articulation. Is it kind of similar how the Laverne Cox doll is kind of styled similar to the Wonder Woman doll, even with half of the body being made to move. Hmm, I wonder if that's a theme when they're doing like certain body sculpts. And I only bring it up because the Vera Wang doll did not get that similar sculpt. The Vera Wang Barbie has like almost like a Barbie extra type of body. But these two women bodies are more athletically bound. Hmm. Just a thought, the body sculpt closer to Wonder Woman than Vera Wang. Now it's almost like Wonder Woman, but it still differs a bit. So she has head articulation, shoulder, she has a double bend in the elbow, wrist articulation, nothing in the midsection, hip articulation, she has a double bend at the knee, and then it ends. Now I know what some of you may be thinking, how does this look with it off? Let's take a look. Now this is nice. I could easily see me using on a different, this is nice. Now keep in mind guys, this is a $40 doll. You're not only getting this beautiful silver bodysuit, you're getting this beautiful layover dress with this beautiful bodice that goes over it. Like this is really nice. Like I, I'm loving this and it's actually fun. I haven't had this much fun in a, a while, Laverne. Um, Callie, can I put my clothes back on? Uh, uh, we'll be right back. Hey, everybody, we are back, and I'm here for my final thoughts on Laverne Cox doll. Um, I do think this doll is very nice. I think for 40 bucks, anyone who's interested in a Barbie signature doll, she's one to collect. Anyone who's an artist and you are good at making different face renderings and things like that, I could easily see other artists recreating her face to maybe make it a little bit more like the actress. As far as her outfit goes, I think every single piece of material here was thoughtfully planned out and was greatly executed from the bodysuit from the, the the mesh skirt to the bodice like everything has a different feel to it a different fabric and it all builds one dramatic look but it's just as powerful when you take each piece away Wow, it's been a while since I've actually had fun with a doll and I think that's what's making the difference for me because it's not that, okay, yes, she's the first transgender Barbie. That's what everyone is saying. But the bigger picture is her doll is a lot of fun. More than the message behind the doll, if you just look at the doll for what it is, it's fun. When is the last time we had a doll who outfit was able to break down into different compartments and we were able to feel like we're having fun she has a made to move body her body is sturdy it's not of a smaller build and i think it'll be a lot of fun for anyone who wants to collect a doll anyone who wants to create with a doll and anyone who just wants a beautiful doll in their collection laverne cox has your back and I want to thank you guys for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out my theory video on Laverne Cox, Amanda Lepore, and RuPaul. Hmm, was Laverne Cox really the first transgender doll? Well, I break it down in my video. So make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Hey, welcome to the Cali Storm Party. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye!